is it okay to add pool chemicals through my skimmer? I'm really glad you asked this question. It's really not okay to add any chemicals at all through your skimmer. Perhaps cyanuric acid might be the single component that I would give the thumbs up that that's okay to do once per season when you set your cyanuric acid level and that is following the manufacturer's instructions for that specific product. Aside from that, I do not. There's no chlorine in the skimmer basket, nothing. It's, it seems like a super convenient way to disperse your chemicals into your pool system, but it's actually the worst possible way that you could add chemicals to your pool because you're adding concentrated chemicals through your pump, through your filter, through your heater. It's the last thing that you would want to do. And you can't say, oh, no, it's fine to do that. You know, how much could it hurt? Well, when you buy the products like an, a chlorine puck erosion feeder, it says right on there, everywhere on there, you have to install this last. Don't install this upstream from your, your heater or you're going to be replacing that heater. It has to go last. So much so you have to protect it from being last with a check valve, a corrosion resistant check valve, because it's going to be so inclined to have so much, you know, corrosion ca causing chlorine backtracking through the system. And you just can't have that concentrated chlorine in pool equipment because it damages it, you know, and it doesn't damage it the first time you do it. Like, oh, now the, the heater doesn't work. But what ends up happening is you should get 15 years of life out of your heater for how expensive they are. And you're probably not going to get it. And that's just, even if you're not adding chemicals through the, the skimmer, the reality is, is just pool equipment doesn't last as long as it used to. And so you have to work really hard to do things like manage your chemistry. And if you're doing something so egregious as putting your chlorine or other chemicals right into your skimmer, you're just loading up your, your pool pump, filter, and heater, any other equipment with chlorine and oxidizing it. And certainly, certainly reducing the service life, probably by more than half. So I highly recommend that you find another method. They're usually, like, I mean, depending on what you're adding, why don't you just add it in front of a deep end return? Wouldn't that be a better way? Like, for example, if you have some liquid chlorine you want to add, pour it slowly in front of the deep end return of your pool while the pump is running. And the deep end return will, you know, to help you to circulate some of that water there. And if you do this and whatever you added there, you notice it kind of fell down and landed on the floor. Well, get your, you know, the, the broom out and broom that around a little bit until it dissolves. That's, that would be a better method than pouring it directly into your skimmer almost universally. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.